Welcome back, readers, and thank you for joining us for another virtual story time. This week, we are reading about tigers in preparation for the Lunar New Year. So, let's get started with today's story, Tiger Walk, written by Diane Hoffmere and illustrated by Jesse Hodgson. Let's get started. At the art gallery, Tom watches the tiger, and the tiger watches Tom. From between the jungly leaves, his eyes follow Tom around the room. Back home, Tom grabs some crayons and a piece of paper. He draws the tiger big, with pointy teeth and a swishing tail and green jewel eyes. That night, shadows creep around Tom's room, dark and scary. From the wall, the tiger's green jewel eyes stare back at him. The whiskers twitch, the tail swishes. Tom holds his breath. The tiger steps forward. It pads closer and closer until. Tom feels the hot tigery breath against his cheek. Let's go for a walk, the tiger purrs. But it's nighttime and it's very dark, whispers Tom. Tigers aren't scared of the dark. Besides, there's a moon. Climb up. Hold tight. So Tom climbs on the tiger's back. He smells the hot tigery smell. Then out they pad into the gleaming jungle of the night until they come to a forest that drips with moonflowers. And everywhere they see foxes and bears and even a lion. Can you see the foxes and the bears and the lion? I'm a little bit scared of foxes and bears and lion, Tom whispers. They have pointy teeth and sharp claws. We'll play, smiles the tiger, showing his pointy teeth and swishing tail. So they do. They play hide and seek between the trees. Until... They come to a river. How will we get to the other side? Whispers Tom. We'll swim, growls the tiger. I'm a little bit scared of swimming, says Tom. The river looks deep and there might be eels. Tigers love swimming. Tigers aren't scared of eels. I'll swat them away with my paws. Hold tight. So Tom holds tight. Down, down they dive, and their breath comes out in bubbles, and the moonlight shines silver on the pebbles, and everywhere there are fish, and even eels, until. On the other side of the web, river, they come to a fair. A fair? 
I'm a little bit scared of fairs, whispers Tom. There are ghost trains and merry-go-rounds and swings that go high, too high. Tigers aren't scared of ghost trains or swings that go too high. Hold tight. So Tom does. And around and around they fly. Faster and faster until they are high above the world and close to the stars. How will we ever get back? whispers Tom. I know the way, growls the tiger. Hold tight! And off they fly through the frozen sky. I'm a little bit scared of flying. It's very cold, and there could be a blizzard. Tigers aren't scared of blizzards, snarls the tiger. Besides, there's a cave we can hide in. Down they swoop and come to a cave with arches of ice and frozen waterfalls and icicles that crackle as they move. In the middle are two huge tigers carved of ice. Except They're real. Tigers! I am very scared of tigers. No, you're not, he snaps the tiger. I'm a tiger. Besides, these are snow tigers, and snow tigers love to dance. We'll light a fire and we'll dance. The tigers step forward. They shake the ice from their whiskers and dance a tigery dance in the firelight with frosty breath and swishing tails and flashing eyes. Tom dances too, faster and faster until too tired to dance anymore. It's time to go home, says the tiger. So away they fly through the frozen sky. And before Tom knows it, they are back home. Tom lies between the tigery paws and the tigery claws and yawns. Oh, a big yawn. I don't think I'm scared anymore. Not scared, the tiger purrs. Tom shakes his head. No, I'm not scared of anything. Perhaps I'm a tiger. He snuggles against the tiger and closes his eyes and falls fast asleep. And the picture the painting that Tom sees at the beginning is actually a Henry Rousseau painting called Tiger in a Tropical Storm. Or some called Surprised as well. And there's some information about Henry Rousseau at the back of the book. Thank you for joining us for Tiger Walk, written by Diane, Diane Hoffmere and illustrated by Jesse Hodgson. We'll see you again soon.